Hello and welcome to video number two in our Grow Better series, Making Nitrate Fertilizer at Home. Nitrate is the number one plant nutrient and is what plants use to form their proteins and DNA. Without nitrate, they would turn yellow and wither away. This is a picture of the bubbler avid gardeners Jan and Scott use for their rain barrels. You can see in our whiteboard animation how we make nitrate the same way as it's done in nature. This is a picture of Jan standing by one of her rain barrels in front of her home. Jan, who's an electrical engineer and very science-minded, wanted to know more about the process, specifically how much nitrate they were making in their rain barrels. Her plants use a lot of water, and she has several rain barrels around her home. The nitrate bubbler is portable, and she takes it from one barrel to the next. After a recent rain, the 60-gallon rain barrels were all full, and we came over to take the water samples for Jan. Here we are taking sample number one before bubbling. Now we'll put in the electrical bubbler and let it run for three hours. We like to put the weighted air stone all the way to the bottom to really mix up all the water. The bubbling is what transfers the nitrate into the water, and it also produces ozone, which kills off any harmful bacteria. The ozone quickly reverts back into oxygen, which is beneficial for healthy root growth. Now it's been three hours, and we've come back to take sample number two. Here is our two water samples, and now we can start testing. In sample number one, with no bubbling, there was no nitrate. And that's not surprising. We're in the middle of summer, the water is warm, and the algae growing on the sides of the rain barrel have consumed any nitrate from the rainwater. It's time to test sample number two, the water that was bubbled for three hours. Drum roll, please. And here is the result of the bubbling. We went from no nitrate in sample one to 1.4 milligrams per liter in three hours. So Jan, you made 1.4 milligrams of nitrate plant food in three hours. Jan, your water also had a low pH. pH is an important measurement because if your pH is too high or too low, your plants wouldn't be able to absorb nutrients. A pH of around 6.5 is good for plants, and this test shows that bubbling improved your pH. It's well known that aeration not only puts oxygen into the water, but raises its pH as well. Lastly, you can see that the conductivity which is an indicator of salts or other conductive minerals in the water is unchanged after bubbling. This is important because most plants don't like salts and many packaged fertilizer contain forms of mineral salts. Thanks Jan and Scott for letting us use your rain barrels for testing. Stay tuned because up next is the ElectroGrow Test Greenhouse. Thanks for watching.